we've got issues with the H2 cluster. No power. Let me show you. The dials are working, the lights are on. We've got nothing. Turn that off. We're going to strip the instrument cluster out. We're going to take it inside. I've bought a kit from Amazon. It's new stepper motors, new transformer, and a couple, couple of little bits. New LEDs. So let's take it inside, let's take it apart, and let's get it fixed. I hope. We've removed that piece, we've taken a couple of screws out. What holds that in? So. Right, we've just got a couple of cables there from that switch just there so I'm going to disconnect those and then we can take that piece out right let's see if we can pull this out Handed. There we go. We've got that out now. Right, let's take it inside, let's take it all apart. So we're just gonna remove the small clips here. off and now what we need to do is remove this circuit board to remove the circuit board I've had to take the front cover off we need to remove each needle allow to allow the front to come up so They're on there tight. Now we've got those removed, we should be able to. No, I don't need to remove that. There we go. Put that to one side. Move that out way. So what we're replacing, let me I'll tell you what, let me show you. So these are the stepper motors which turn the needles. I don't know what that big ball of tape is there. I'm pretty sure that isn't meant to be on there. So We'll remove that. We're going to be swapping out all these little LEDs. And I believe, I could be wrong, but these two, I don't know what you call them, transmitters, receivers, something like that, are what transfer the power through the circuit board. So that's what we need to be looking at. So what I've got here is a new pack of LED lights. They're going to replace all these little blue bulbs. Some of them don't work. If I can open the packet. There we go. So. I don't know if it'll focus on that. But that's all it is, a little LED probe. So I'm just waiting on the soldering iron. Right, just warming up. I'm going to heat all these joints, I'm going to pull those, and I'm going to solder 
the new LED lights. So we've got the first one off. Let's just put that to one side. You can see I've got the new bulb going on here. Where's my solder gone? So I'm just gonna bit of solder, get my bulb lined up where I need it. And that's the new bulb in place. You can see the difference between the round bulb and the LED bulb. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull all these, repeat that process and do all the board. We've got all the bulbs changed out now, all new ones except that one there. There seems to be a bulb missing out of the pack, but they're all the old bulbs. Right, let's move on to step mortars. So we'll start with this bottom one. Let's. So using the soldering iron and the solder sucker, which you can see in shot there, we're going to heat up the solder and then suck it away to release the mortar. That's the idea anyway. So that's one. So the solder from the back this is the mortar we remove give it a little wiggle wiggle there we go so that's the stepper mortar if it'll focus so we're gonna repeat that process take all these mortars off and then we're gonna replace them all All the step motors have been removed now. The board's ready for the new ones. There they are, they're the old ones. Right, let's get them put in. So what I'm doing now is just bending the little prong sofa to keep the motor sat in its correct position. Oh, hang on. Where's the motor missing? There's a gap here where I should have a motor. Ah, oh. one light bulb missing and one motor missing. Great. Well, in that case, I'm going to have to use one of the old ones. Um, I don't know which ones worked correctly and which didn't. I'm going to have to guess this, but this one looks pretty clean and tidy. So, if you can see the difference between them, that one looks a little bit burnt. That one looks pretty clean. So, 
yeah, we'll go with this one. Flip that back over. We've got all the little prawns bent over now. We just need to go back around with a soldering gun and solder all these back up. Now, just while I'm in the board, what I want to do, I found a couple of loose solder joints. Just here, these two little 240 resistors, I guess they're called, I'm not quite sure, but we're just going to go ahead and drop a little bit of solder on there. Right, let's partially put it back together, let's take it outside and let's try it back in the Hummer. Let's reassemble. Flip that over. That can come off, let's find the back case. that back a little bit right so we need to reapply some of the needles now when I reconnect this to the power in the Hummer all the stepper motors are going to reset themselves so I will have to pull these needles back off and reposition where I need them. So I'm not going to put them all on. I'm just going to put a couple on. Just so I, I know that these motors are working correctly. That'll do us. We've got three needles. Right, let's go try this in the Hummer. Right, we're back in the Hummer. Let's try put this back in. It's a little hard to reconnect with one hand, so I put the camera on a tripod. We've got the connector in. Where's the key? keys here? Right. Well, that's a good sign. So let me show you. We've got the lights. Change the engine oil, that's fine. We've got an ABS light come on. So, we've got all the lights working. Ref needle. Yep, that works. I can't tell you if the speedometer works just yet, but the fuel gauge has gone up, so that clearly works. So, I'm not worried about the rest of them not working. I believe they will. Let's just check the display. Why is it not? If I press on the fuel button. Oh yeah, range 101. Yeah, so that's all working as it should. Now, the only thing that's not working is this. Sorry. That's dry. Oh, there we go. That's come back to life now. Oh, it's gone off again. There we go. Yeah, so that's back on. That might be a loose connector there. I'm just going to take it back and double check. But, yeah, everything works fine. I'm happy with that. That saved me some money. 
So let's rock and roll. See if it'll focus. Come on, there we go, it's focused. So we've got the ref needle, we've got speedometer, fuel gauge, battery, oil pressure. Yeah, we've got it all working. That's what we needed. Perfect. Woohoo! Keeping a speed limit, of course. You know, I don't do things like speeding. <laughs> 